This video is focusing on direct proportion. This is when, as one quantity increases, so does the, the other quantity. So if one item costs two pounds, two items would just be double that amount. Okay, so if it's two pounds for one item, two items would be four pounds. Three items would be three lots of two, so six pounds. And ten items would be ten lots, so twenty pounds. Direct proportion does not take into account for any special offers. So if they were selling a 10 pack for a special price that was cheaper than the 20 pounds, then that would not be in direct proportion. Direct proportion means every single individual item should cost the exact same amount of money. Okay. In this example, we know one chair costs 50 pounds and we're trying to find the cost of six chairs. So if they're in direct proportion, then all we would do is multiply our 50 by 6. So 6 shares would cost £300. So that was easy because we knew the cost of one item. If you don't know the cost of one item first, you have to go find that out before you do the rest of the question. Okay, in this example, we know that the cost of four rulers is £3.20. And we're trying to figure out how much it would cost for nine rulers. So before we can do that question, we're going to have to figure out the cost of one ruler first. So how do we do that? If we know the cost of four rulers, we would just divide that cost by four. Okay, I've set up this table to help me. So I've written that four rulers cost £3.20. And one ruler would cost the £3.20 divided by four. I'll just pop that at the side so I get 0 0.80 pounds which is obviously 80 pence but I'm going to leave it as a decimal because when I multiply it back up it'll be into the pounds again so to find nine rulers I'm going to put a nine in the left hand column and all we do is we take our 0 0.80 and we're going to times that up by nine to get our answer which is £7.20. Okay, so the table helps if you write how many you initially knew the price of and then write the number one, always find one first, and then multiply it up by how many you're trying to find. So four rulers cost £3.20, one ruler cost 80 pence or £0.80, and nine rulers cost £7.20. So all we did was divide by 4, because we knew the cost of 4 rulers, and then multiplied that answer up by 9. You do not need to put it in a table if you don't want to. It's okay just to show your division by 4 and then your multiplication by 9. But please write your answer at the end. Don't just leave it in a table if that's how you're setting it out. Okay, so we would just write a little sentence explaining that 9 rulers cost £7.20. And that would be you finish that question. Here's an example where it's maybe not the best to find the cost of one item. You're told that 300 nails cost £15 and you're trying to find the cost of 500 nails. So the easiest thing to do in this question would, find, would be to find the cost of just 100 nails. And then it'll be really easy divisions and multiplications rather than dividing by 300 and times back by 500. Especially if you didn't have a calculator, that would be quite tricky. So I'm going to start by drawing a table again. Okay, so the table has nails to the left and the cost to the right. What we're trying to find should always be on the right-hand side. So we're trying to find the cost. Instead of writing the number 1 under 300, I'm going to write 100. Because I can easily get from 100 back up to 500, which is what we're trying to find. So if 300 nails cost £15, 100 nails are going to cost three times less because 300 divided by three gets us to 100. So we're going to divide 15 by three as well to get to five. So 100 nails would cost five pounds. What would we do to find the cost of 500 nails? Well, because 100 times five makes 500, we're going to times this by five. So 500 nails would cost 25 pounds. And we'll just write that in a nice little sentence. OK, 
Okay, so just explain our answer. 500 nails cost £25.